Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we have this lovely summer cardigan. I love this cardigan so much. I love the shell stitch that I use throughout the piece. I think it has a very nice flow and a drape making it perfect for summer. So you just need a DK or a weight 3 yarn and a 5mm crochet hook. And in this tutorial I make a size small to medium for all other sizes. Check out my blog crochetwithcarry.com The yarn I used was Cotton Light from Drops. Each ball is about 105 meters, and I used just under 12 balls for a size small to medium. We're going to start off with the back panel and we're going to chain 10. Single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then single crochet into each chain all the way across. So at the end of the row you should have nine single crochet. So now chain one and then turn your work and now we're going to work into the back loop of every stitch and we're going to place one single crochet. So place one single crochet into the back loop of every stitch all the way across and you're going to repeat this row until you have a total of 91 rows. So here I have a smaller swatch just for demonstration purposes but you will have 91 rows and now once you have 91 rows we're going to single crochet all the way across the edge. So we're going to begin by chaining one and then single crochet 91 stitches evenly all the way across. For row 2 we're going to chain 1, turn your work and then single crochet into each of the first 2 stitches. Chain 3, skip 2 single crochet and then make three single crochet. And you're going to repeat that. You're going to chain three, skip two, and then single crochet three stitches. And you're going to repeat that all the way across until we reach towards the end. So here I am at the end of the row and I have four stitches left. So we're going to chain three, skip the next two stitches and then single crochet into each of the last two single crochet.
for row three we're going to chain one and then turn your work you're going to single crochet into that first stitch you're going to skip the next single crochet and then into this chain three space we're going to make five double crochet Now we're going to skip the next single crochet and then single crochet into the next single crochet. Skip the next single crochet and then into our chain three space make five double crochet. And you're going to repeat that across you're going to skip the next single crochet then single crochet into the next stitch skip the next single crochet and then make five double crochet into your next chain three space and you're going to repeat that all the way across So you're going to skip the next single crochet, then single crochet into the next, skip the next single crochet, and then make five double crochet into that chain three space. And you're going to repeat that all the way across. So here we are at the end of the row. I've just made five double crochet and I have two single crochets left. So we're going to skip the next single crochet and then into that last single crochet place one single crochet. For row four we're going to chain three. This chain three counts as one half double crochet and a chain one. So we're going to skip that very first stitch and the next and then we're going to make three single crochets. Then we're going to chain three and you're going to skip the next double crochet and the next single crochet and the next double crochet. So that's three stitches and then you're going to make one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. And you're going to repeat that. We're going to chain three, skip the next double crochet, single crochet and double crochet and then make three single crochets. And you're going to repeat that all the way across. Here we are towards the end of the row. I've just finished my three single crochet. 
So next we're going to chain three, skip the next double crochet, single crochet and double crochet and we're going to make three single crochets. Then we're going to chain one, skip the next stitch and then make one half double crochet into that last stitch. For row five, we're going to chain three. This chain three counts as your first double crochet. Then we're going to turn our work and into that chain one space, we're going to make two double crochet. Now we're going to skip the next single crochet and then into that next single crochet, place one single crochet, skip the next single crochet and into this chain three space, make five double crochet. And you're going to repeat that. We're going to skip the next single crochet, then single crochet into that next stitch, then skip the next single crochet and into that chain three space, make five double crochet. And you're going to repeat that all the way across. Here we are towards the end of the row. I've just made my five double crochet. So next we're going to skip the next single crochet and then single crochet into that next stitch. Then we're going to skip the next single crochet and then into that chain three space, we're going to make three double crochet. For row six, we're going to chain one and then turn your work. We're going to make one single crochet into each of the first two single crochet. Then we're going to chain three, skip the next double crochet and the next single crochet and the next double crochet, and then make three single crochets. Then chain three, skip the next double crochet, single crochet and double crochet and then make three single crochets. And you're going to repeat that all the way across. You're going to chain three, skip the next three stitches and then make three single crochets. Here I am towards the end of the row. I've just made three single crochets. So next chain three, skip the next three stitches and then make two single crochets. 
so single crochet into the next stitch and then your last single crochet is going to be on top of that chain three so you're going to go ahead and you're going to repeat rows three through six until the end of row 62 at the end of row 62 you're just going to fasten off and you're going to weave in any ends you have and we're going to start working on the front panels the front panels are made the same way but we're just going to start off with less stitches so the front panels are made the same way as the back panel we're going to start off by chaining 10 single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then single crochet all the way across but this time we're going to do 41 rows of single crochet back loop only and then you're going to make 41 single crochets all the way across and then you're going to do your shell pattern like we did with the back panel and you're going to do the same amount of rows as you did for the back panel that's 62 rows and then you're going to fasten off and you're going to leave long tail and for the sleeves they're made the same way but this time we're going to do 56 rows of single crochet back loop only then we're going to work 56 single crochet across the long edge of this ribbing and then we're going to continue with the shell pattern just like before and we're going to do 22 rows of that shell pattern once you have that we're just going to fasten off and leave a long tail and then once you're finished crocheting your sleeve we're just going to fold it in half and with a tapestry needle and your long tail we're just going to seam down the edge next you're going to lay your two front panels on top of your back panel and then with your yarn needle and your long tails we're going to seam across the shoulders so right there and right there next you're going to measure seven and a half inches from your shoulder down and then you're going to place a marker and then you're going to do the same on the other side and then you're going to seam from the bottom all the way up until you reach this stitch marker next you're going to take one of your sleeves you're going to make sure that the seam is facing downwards and you're just going to seam your sleeve to that armhole and then do the same on the other side And then lastly you're going to turn your cardigan the right side out you're going to attach your yarn to the bottom corner and then you're going to single crochet all the way up and around your neck and then down the other side once you reach this side we're going to fasten off and that's your cardigan finished if you liked this tutorial please like and subscribe don't forget the free written pattern is on my blog crochetwithcarry.com so what should I make next? Let me know in the comments down below and until next time, take care.